Hi everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I am going to be talking about five dinners in one hour and how I meal prepped my dinners this past Sunday. So I, as you know, we've talked about this before, I partnered with five dinners in one hour and from time to time I go on their Facebook page and do a live video and prep my meals and interact with the audience. So I just did this this past Sunday and the meals that I made, I'll just kind of cover those now. I did Tex-Mex Sloppy Joes, Chili Cheese Coney's, Roast Beef Crescent Rolls and Vegetable Soup, Cheesy Bacon Honey Mustard Chicken, and Taco Cups. So that was my menu this week and everything that I made I had tweaked a little bit to make it a little more WW friendly, which is always fun. But I thought what I would do today is I would kind of share some clips from my live video and show you kind of how I did it. So if you like videos like this, please let me know and I will continue to make them as I do my live meal preps. And I'll also link the full video Facebook page below so that you can find it if you want to watch it in its entirety. So five dinners in one hour is a meal service plan that I subscribe to and they give me a set of recipes as well as a grocery list that I work from every week when I use it. I use it about every other week. I know that I've been still trying to try new recipes and test things out. So having this every other week really affords me the opportunity to spend the time looking for new recipes in different avenues as well. So hopefully that makes sense. So anyway, I am going to include some of the video and like I said, I'll do a couple, I'll do like just maybe a couple minutes from each meal that I prepped and we'll see how it flows. I'm not even sure how this is going to flow because of the fact that I was interacting with the audience as I was prepping and answering questions that were coming up in the comments section. So we'll see how it goes. And again, let me know in the comments if you like this, just, you know, super easy. Just go ahead and put prep. Just write the word prep in the comments to let me know if you would like to continue to see videos like this. And I will try to add these into my rotation. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and pop that video in here. And here we go. Hi everyone, it's Kim. Today I am going to be prepping five meals. All right, so the first thing we're going to be making is the Tex-Mex Sloppy Joes. And we needed some ground beef, and I have some extra lean ground beef here. And I tried to put my stuff together to make it easier so we wouldn't be fumbling so much. So I threw my frozen stuff in a container so that I could quickly grab it and go. So the first thing that we're going to need is some frozen chopped onions. And I had used the onions during my last meal prep. So I just closed the bag, threw it in a bag, and threw it right in the freezer. They are a little more frozen here. We're just going to go ahead and... I know that's loud. Can you guys hear me okay? Um, give me some hearts if you can hear me. This recipe will come out to be six smart points, including the bun. So I am using the Healthy Life buns for my Tex-Mex Sloppy Joes. And that will make it easier for me to be able to plan my day for my WW points if I know exactly how many points my dinner is. All right, so the next one, Chili Cheese Coney's. This one is exciting for me. I just got to grab my container. So the only thing that I've done is I grabbed a container and I put foil in it. So that's all I've done so far with that. Going to grab our hot dog buns and I just have the Healthy Life hot dog buns. Again, two smart points. You can't go wrong. If you have these in your area, definitely pick them up. They're really, really good. Thank you, Rita. So we need a total of six hot dog buns. Again, grab those out, get that out of the way. Put the top on that later. 
So, first thing we need to do is line a 9 by 13 baking dish. And in this case, I'm just using my cake pan because it was easy. It says to spread a thin layer of mayonnaise on one side of each bun. So we're just going to open our buns up real quick and put them in here. Pretty sure they should all fit. Not sure of the configuration on how I should have done this. Maybe sideways works better. Okay, we're gonna switch these around. That's much better. All right, so can you see that? Can you see how I did that? Just throw on some cheese on these really quick, and then this one is going to be done. And I'm telling you, these look amazing. Now for this one, it says to eat this one within the first one to two days that you've prepped it. So we're probably gonna have these for dinner tonight. All right, so next up. Um, give me some smiley faces if you guys are having fun and if you're learning something. So if you're learning something and having fun, throw some smiley faces in there. All right, so the next thing we're doing is roast beef crescents and vegetable soup. And those are gonna be kind of fun to throw together too. So for that, we're going to have our gallon bag. And I just went ahead and wrote vegetable soup. And yes, the vegetable soup is going to be zero smart points. So we're gonna pop this off to the side. And then I have a container here. It's a good thing I have a big kitchen table. I have a container here to put these in. So hopefully, that's, I think that's a good spot for those. All right, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to grab our crescent rolls. Crescent rolls, we're gonna, we're gonna do this one a little better. Crescent rolls, mozzarella cheese sticks, deli sliced roast beef, we need oregano, mixed vegetables, and salt and pepper. So oregano, salt and pepper, and mixed vegetables, which I know are behind me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know about you, but when you open biscuits, it's either going to pop when you don't expect it, which, whew, all right, we're good. <laughs> this is never fun to do on camera. Hold on. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Sometimes it pops really loud. So I'm just going to pop. these on here. I don't know if I should be doing them half. Maybe I'll do it half. Looks like it might roll easier. All right. So we're going to top one piece of roast beef on each of these. And the good thing is, is now you have roast beef left over for sandwiches later. All right. How are we doing on time? 12.04. We're still doing good. We're on our third recipe. And again, I have stopped and chatted a lot. All right, one more. And then I'm just going to put one of these, one half of these on each. Now for the mozzarella sticks that I'm using, I'm using the Frigo's Light Drop Mozzarella Sticks. And they're only one smart point for a whole stick. Check them out. Super easy, right? Just put chicken in a pan and I um, sprayed it with cooking spray. So we do that and then it says to mix the next three ingredients in a small bowl and spread over each chicken breast. So our next three ingredients are going to be honey, Dijon mustard, and lemon pepper seasoning. Honey, Dijon mustard, and lemon pepper seasoning. See, I told you, having that stuff behind me in those baskets, total time saver. The first thing that you want to do is you want to take cooking spray and you want to spray the inside of your cup. Because if you do that, your honey's not going to stick and you're not going to play heck trying to get it out of the cup. All right, so let's get our honey in. I like these little honey things because it does make it easier to get it out. All right, so if you're doing the WW plan, we don't use a lot of honey, so definitely measure that out so that you're not going overboard with that. So we're just going to pour that out. You can see how easy that pours right out. Plus, if you're going to count the points for honey, definitely, definitely get all your honey out. All right, so I'm just going to spread this evenly over my chicken breast. Now, 
and that will marinate and taste really good. And these are some really big chicken breasts. We have to grab a bowl and we have to measure out some mozzarella cheese and some real bacon bits. So the mozzarella cheese today that I'm using are the Velveeta shreds. And the bacon that I'm using is the real bacon pieces. Mozzarella shreds, one quarter cup, two smart points. Real bacon, one tablespoon, one smart point. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw a top on this. And then when it comes time to cook this, we're going to cook it. And then at the end, we're going to add in our bacon and cheese on top. Cheesy bacon chicken. I, I know I've said it like four times, but cheesy bacon, yum. So I have three cups of chicken. It called for rotisserie chicken, but I had had some chicken. I had the leftover chicken from the other, the last, the, the cheesy bacon chicken. So I just went ahead and threw this in my Instant Pot last night and cut that up and chunked it up this morning. So it made it super easy. Yes, Cheryl's chicken breast is zero smart points. You can't go wrong with that, right? Is add in our chili powder. I have the shaker top stuck on this one. So I'm gonna add in our chili powder. So it says to mix in first six ingredients. So that's gonna be the chicken, the chili powder, the cumin, the onion powder, the black beans, and the corn. So we're going to now play with wonton wrappers. Again, never touched these before ever. So we're gonna see how these go. Sometimes the package, you can open it. So for these, taco cups. It is going to be 15 points for the entire recipe. So as I am putting these together, I figured this would be a great time to talk about how I formulate the points using the five dinners, one hour plan. I'm going to make nine of these. I probably have way too much chicken, but bonus, I can mix up some taco salads this week and just use that chicken on top. Lori, thanks. I love that knife rack too, if you can see it behind so The you. next thing that we wanna do is we want to put chicken mixture into each of these. So I'm just gonna shove that right in here. Just take a couple of minutes to get this done. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of cheese on each of these. And then I'm gonna cover this in tin foil and I'm gonna stick it in my fridge. And I am going to sign off from here. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll let you know the next time I'm gonna come on. So hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Okay, so um, hopefully you like that. And hopefully you've got some ideas on some new dinners that you might be able to make. Now, if you are interested in subscribing to Five Dinners One in One Hour, you can do that by, um, I'll put the link below. And they do offer a $2 sample plan that you can also get and then see how it works. I mean, so if you don't want to subscribe to the monthly plan or the quarterly plan, you can always just go ahead and click the sample plan and check it out. I know there are are some other ways that you can do this. You can write out your grocery list, you can look for the research. But again, I like it because of the fact that it just saves me time and it's less thinking on my part. So the concept is, again, you prep five dinners in one hour and then when you get home, it's basically one dish. You throw it in the oven or you throw it in the crock pot or you know, whatever the case may be and dinner is ready in a flash. So you don't have to pull out all the ingredients and prep and do this and that and it just saves a ton of time. So I am going to sign off from here. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel if you like the content that I'm putting out. And if you hit that little bell, it will notify you when I release new videos. So with that said, signing off, have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.